Oh, excuse me, guys. Pardon me. Y'all are doing a great job. Keep it up. Well done. Where do you expect to see art in West Michigan? Maybe it's at an art museum. Maybe it's at the Frederick Meyer Gardens. Or maybe it's downtown Grand Rapids. But what about at a university? Did you know the second biggest art collection in Michigan sits right here at Grand Valley State? Today, we'll explore their unique approach to the world of art. I'm here with Nathan Kemmler, Director of Galleries and Collections here at GVSU, and it didn't take us long to be surrounded by art right away <laughs> here on campus. Where did this whole idea come from to have art and education influence each other. That was really President Emeritus Don Lubber's vision. Uh, back when he, Grand Valley was really building a lot 20 plus years ago, uh, art was the one of those critical environmental features that the then president really wanted to infuse in the environment. Knowing that being surrounded by art does something to our students. Learning stories of others and building those perspectives, influencing different fields of study from new angles was something that he was really interested in and saw merit in. And just like a piece of art, that idea started with a vision and turned into quite the creation. Across all campuses, GVSU has more than 27,000 art pieces. And this one was made for the space, right? You can even tell physically it it's fits this nice alcove perfectly, and that's what was done very intentionally and planned. We're talking paintings, drawings, stitchings, and sculptures spanning hundreds of years from every corner of the earth. There is a student superstition around this piece where they won't walk through it until graduation, or they'll walk mm. backwards through it during exam week. I'm doing it right. But unlike other collections, here at GVSU, your access to the art is unparalleled. And that's no accident. That's so non-traditional in the world of art, right? Because usually yeah. you think you have to go to a specific space. It's very exclusive. Right. Why was that so important here at Grand Valley State to have that unrestricted yeah. access? Yeah, that, that's one of the, the core values of Grand Valley. It's always been in kind of the fabric of, of the university here is making learning accessible. It's not about having to pay a lot of money necessarily compared to other higher ed universities. Same thing with the art. We don't, there's no cost to come to see the art where you don't have to pay an admission. This is just about coming to any of the buildings, any of the grounds, any of the campuses, right? So we have uh, Detroit, Traverse City, Muskegon, Holland, Grand Rapids, Allendale, all all public buildings are infused with art. Those pieces of art placed around every corner in every building. This hallway is all Reed's past student uh, works that they created while they're at Grand Valley, so they're all alum now. Offering plenty of opportunities for reflection, education, and in many cases, inspiration. For instance, we just, just recently actually had music composition students create original scores of music inspired by a piece of artwork. Here in this room, actually, looking at the pieces here, they would go, they would find a piece, and they would create an original music composition. And then it was performed live, there was uh, awards and voting, and then that, that, that musical score stays with the art now. Nathan took me on a tour around both the Allendale campus. This is Armand Marazon, another really popular artist in West Michigan. He, he lived here his entire life, painted here his entire life. And the one in downtown Grand Rapids. This gallery happens to be all about the artist Matthias Alton a very well-known, prominent West Michigan painter. And when I tell you art is everywhere, <laughs> I mean it. Well, now we're in the business school, right. which is maybe not a place you would expect to find pieces of right, art. Right, absolutely. But, but we're here, we're graced with this beautiful piece here. Yeah, so this is a collaboration piece. An artist named Hubert Massey, who lives in Detroit, is a Grand Valley alum, does big murals and frescoes, bringing that experience of creating at a very young age and what it means to have your art in a public space. Perhaps the most recognizable piece of art is one Nathan couldn't show us, but we dug up some archive footage to show you. It's hanging in the Interprofessional Health Building downtown. It's a beautiful 12 and a half feet wide Laker blue and opaline Persian chandelier created by Dale Chihuly a world-renowned glass artist. It's not just in this, the very public spaces where you get a lot of eyes on it. Right. Once it's also in spots like these, yeah. like student study spaces, which right. is a very right. unique aspect, I think, oh. of the whole collection. Yeah, absolutely, right? It's about, there's no priority in spaces necessarily in the, in the way that traditional higher ed institutions may do with public art. Here we want to make sure that it's infused in the student study spaces. So again, you can see this great suite of the Grand River paintings all along the back wall here. Having art at the center point, right, so that you are living with it. Living with it is one thing. 
but they hope you learn from it too. And each person might be impacted by the same piece in different ways. That's so that's great about art, right? A lot of times there are so many layered meanings in one piece, and it depends on who's looking at the art, what, what their own experience is coming to that conversation. Well, apparently Nathan's experience is how we're all interconnected together, we're all human, we all belong in nature. Or much better suited than I am. Or someone who has scoliosis in their spine. <laughs> that too. And if you want to sound a little bit smarter than me, which is not very hard, and learn more about a piece before offering your opinion, you can do that all from their app. It is called Art at GVSU. You can go on tours around campus, you can look up artists, you can look up buildings, right? You can say, I'm in this building, what's around me? You can do that. But you can also just search and then hit the QR scanner there. And then as soon as you pull it up to the code, it's gonna take you to the details of this piece, which is right above us. How cool is that? Just another example of how GVSU is breaking industry norms by making art accessible. 27,000 pieces and counting with one goal in mind. Art's influence on education, that seems like the bottom line here. Yes, absolutely. I feel definitely educated now with the <laughs> art, but to end our segment, it's only fitting that we create some art of our own. So you wanna take a little Polaroid Let's do selfie? It. Let's do it. All right, smile big. Three, two, one. Frame it, keep it safe. Oh, this will. Maybe one day it'll be uh, posted up in here somewhere at Grand Valley State. <laughs> Well, we learned a couple of things today. First is that I still clearly have not mastered the Fox 17 unfiltered selfie. I basically cut my boy Nathan out of the frame. I'm sorry, Nathan, you don't deserve that because you also helped us learn that here at Grand Valley State, there is the biggest art collection of any university in America, an incredible statistic, and now you know. It really was so cool to see it all, and we only got a taste. We only went to two of their six campuses. Again, 27,000 pieces, second in the state, only to the Detroit Institute of Arts, which has 65,000 pieces, but those were collected over a much, much longer period of time.